Uh, I'm trapped under a six foot roll of canvas. My bad, I stretched this canvas over a really weak stretcher and now I've had to restretch it. So what I'd like to do is add this to this piece to reinforce it and allow the canvas to breathe still. So you won't get to see the, can uh, the stretcher from the front of the canvas with time. So reinforce these sides of the stretcher. And of course, that'll require a uh, trip to uh, either Home Depot or uh, Lowe's today. See how much I can salvage. So now I'll be just taking the canvas off. When I was in school, we would just go and buy cheap canvas down the street uh, from the college in Toronto. Uh, some of the secondary art stores like Picasso, you know, buy f a big canvas for five or six dollars. Uh, we didn't care. It's the quality is just, let's use it and paint on it. And uh, teachers would, you know, look at their canvas and laugh because they could put their finger almost through it. But over time, you, you know, you stretch your own canvas because you like you know, the better quality. I use a rougher canvas on mine. Uh, I like the texture of it. Some people prefer linen canvas because it's smoother. Uh, when they put their gesso on it, it's almost like a glass surface. I like the texture. I like the brush strokes coming through, uh, but that's me. Now on this canvas, uh, this edge was caving in here because it wasn't thick enough around the back here and I fix that and all I have to do now is repair the canvas, the paint, retouch it and it's done.